Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. Specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Welcome to a brand new week of This Week in Crowder College right here on 91.7 FM. Adam Winkler here with you, joined by the athletic director out there at Crowder College, Brandy Arthur. And Brandy, thanks for being with us. Hi, Adam. Thanks for having me. Well, very uh, fun time of year for athletes out there at Crowder College. A great time as well because basketball's in the in postseason. Spring sports are underway. And just to let us know just the excitement out there, just on campus with, with everything going on. You know, it, it's a fun time of year, um, this time of year, with, with basketball still going on, like you said, and baseball and softball. Track and field, golf getting fired up. You know, last Saturday we had three home contests all on the same day, and and it was a lot of fun. We had baseball and softball at the same time, and then basketball starting an hour later. So it's definitely an exciting time to be on campus. Well, let's start out with the basketball team. I know a lot of injuries there for uh, uh, Coach Wilson and and her team, and I know they've they've fought through some of that this year, but I know that they'd like to make some noise once they get to the postseason. Yes. um, Yeah, our basketball team had several starters that were hurt right out of the gate when the season started. So it's been a little difficult for them in the going. And and when they had those players out for the entire season, then we had several players that were out for a short amount of time, uh, for a short amount of time each. And so it's just been difficult for them to even feel the whole team at times. But they've hung in there and they've continued to play really hard um, and show a lot of heart. So we're really proud of them. And they actually play at Moberly tomorrow in their first postseason game. So we're all rooting for them tomorrow at Moberly. Well, uh, let's jump to a sport that's near and dear to your heart, and that's uh, for for many different reasons, but the Crowder softball team and uh, Coach Josh Barnes are off to another phenomenal start there for the softball team. And just uh, tell us about your excitement for those girls. I know they're, they're wanting to do a lot of great things throughout the season. Yeah, we're excited for our softball team. Um, you know, me specifically, of course, I'm excited for the softball team. But this week they were selected to be in number 20 in the softball poll. So that's a national ranking. So we were super excited for them on that. Um, they've played 26 games so far, and they're 19-7. and seven. And They had their first region game today at Jefferson College. So I'm watching that one online, keeping an eye on that. But, but they've done a, a great job so far. And one more thing about softball. If people have never watched a high school or a college softball game, when you go watch softball, it's 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 unique. It's fast paced. People, I think, would really enjoy it if they've never been to a Crowder softball game. Oh, it's it's so exciting, and like you said, much faster pace um, than a baseball game. And and we all love baseball. We know that. But sometimes at a baseball game, you have time to go to the concession stand. You can really enjoy your popcorn between pitches and those kinds of things. With softball, you know, you have to really be strategic about when you get your snacks because you're really locked in the whole time because there's not a lot of break time in softball games. You know, Crowder has, has scored quite a few runs. We actually have our leading RBI scorer, Adne Landon Lane, uh, she's from New Zealand. You know, she has 25 RBIs. So if you come out to one of our games, you're definitely going to see some runs scored, which will add to the excitement also. Well, Coach Lalleman has his baseball team playing well again. Obviously, always the goal is to, to get to Grand Junction and I've had a chance to talk to him but before the season started. I know um, he's always excited about this uh, crop of players that he has. He's really high on their defensive skills. And uh, I know Crowder baseball is just uh, one of those things that everybody is so proud of, and they're off to another phenomenal start. Yeah, um, you know, last year we finished 50-13 and 13 on the baseball side, and, and I'm not sure how many years in a row they've had 50-win seasons. And it's been several. You know, I, I suspect they'll probably have at least 50 wins again this year and hopefully more um, as they progress into the postseason. But right now they're 15-6. and six. You know, after 21 games, they're doing a great job. A lot of people may, may think that six losses this early in the season sounds like a lot, but they play a really tough schedule at the beginning of the year um, in order to prepare them for those later games in the year. Talking to Coach Lalleman too, the best uh, GPA they've had as a team, um, I think in the fall semester I think it was a 3-4, I don't know, we, we talked about that at length, just uh, uh, how committed he is to making sure those kids do well in the classroom too. Yeah, yeah, his, his team did win the GPA battle in the fall. They did quite well in the classroom. Baseball, you know, traditionally has done well in the classroom. He doesn't expect them just to perform on the field, but in the classroom too, and like a lot of our coaches here, they're just really great people um, and expect a lot of out of their athletes. 
Well, one of the newer uh, sports out there at Crowder College, men's and women's golf, and they did some things in the fall, but they also have some tournaments lined out here in the spring. And um, just uh, your assessment on how that program's g- grown through the first couple years. You know, we did have Sierra Tunley from Tulsa, Oklahoma, did um, qualify for the National Women's Tournament last year. So we're excited to see her compete again this spring. She's actually signed to play at Missouri Southern next year. So our women's program is off to a great start. Our men's program is also doing a, a phenomenal job competing. They finished in the top few in their tournaments that they had in the fall. So we're excited to see what, what they'll do this spring for sure. Coach Major is doing a great job with that program. Finally, the addition of track now in the spring for you guys. Head coach Jake Holt has done a, a marvelous job with the cross-country program. That shifts to the, the spring semester and track for the distance runners. And I know that was an excitement and uh, that adds value out there at Crowder. Absolutely. You know, it's great that we're going to have another season of competition for those kids who come out and run um, distance in the fall. We've added distance track for them in the spring to be able to compete in. Also, um, you know, it's just another opportunity for them to show um, how gifted they are as athletes. Another way to draw some more uh, student athletes to Crowder College. Well, Brandy, as people uh, go throughout their uh, their March and April and May, just uh, let them know how encouraged these athletes would be if uh, if fans got out there and supported these programs. Oh, it'd be great. You know, we love to have big crowds out here. Um, we know that our games during the week oftentimes are at a, are at times that aren't convenient for people to come and watch. But our weekend series usually start at 1 in the afternoon or at noon on Sunday. So it'd be great to have some more community support out here on the weekend. Well, Brandy, it's always great to catch up with you. Thank you for the athletic update on This Week in Crowder College. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM. If you live within the broadcast area of KNEO Radio, we have a podcast just for you. The KNEO Community Connection keeps your finger on the pulse of what's coming up in the four state area, telling you about upcoming events you don't want to miss, organizations in our communities doing great work, and conversations with the dynamic citizens who are behind it all. There's a lot going on around you that you don't want to miss. This is Luke Taylor. Join me each week as we talk about what's happening with the people who are making it happen. Brought to you by KNEO Radio 91.7 FM and the Sky High Podcast Network. Subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts.